I got a little riddle for you. Who's six foot two, smokes like a chimney, likes to steal, and is currently totally fucked. You guessed it, me, Neil Bannon. My father always called me a quitter. I had to live with that my whole life. Now, you probably got a lot of questions, like, why is he fucked? Why is he smoking in a Nicotine Anonymous meeting? And who's that? So, that's Madison, by the way, and we'll get to her and why she's got my wallet a little later. <laughs> For now, just know that I had every intention of getting out of the criminal lifestyle. Friends in the back. Welcome you. Maybe some new friends. So I'm guessing you don't have the 150 G's to pay. Where's some. the fucking money, Ben? That's why you're pretending like you don't see us when we're chasing you now all you over the city. Now you for mercy. Not exactly, guys. Kill me if you want. But if you give me a week, I'll give you an extra 100 Gs. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So I should probably mention that the goons work for the notorious prison gangster, Sonny Carr, who I owe a little money to. Don't let his Latin flair fool you. He will shoot you in the face. Let me back up a bit. We got the studio loft job, hot chick that works the front desk, Mr. B trying to hunt me down. Right, this is probably a good time to bring up Mr. B and how I used to work for him before I went freelance. He's a man of many virtues. Patience isn't one of them. Anyway, blah, 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 I'm trying to triple my money. Oh, right, so here we are at the beginning. I had 50 Gs to my name, but I owed Sonny 150 today. One last job lined up, but I figured, hey, why not play a little cards, triple my money, and then pay off my debts the honorable way. In these situations, I always think of Grandpa's principles, which he liked to call the Bannon way. Let me give you an example. A winner knows when to quit. A loser quits too early or too late. I know what you're thinking. If you owe Sonny 150,000 and you've got that in your hands, you should probably quit. But hey, we're all human. I'm all in. Hey, Bannon, it's Zeke. Where the hell are you? Did you forget uh, we have our last job today? Get down to the studio complex downtown, all right? It's D-Day Zeke, and we're a little short. What are you talking about? You're, we've got two seconds flat to pull off this job, and you, you're talking to me about short? I had cake. What was I supposed to do? I'm here, let's just visualize the game plan. All right, let's do this. When you get in the lobby, you're gonna convince the manager to give you the key to Haskell's studio law. So I'm impersonating this Haskell guy. Right, go out the back. On your left will be a building. Down the hall, and you're looking for J345. You're gonna look for a laptop on a desk. You take care of the transfer, I'll take care of the rest. Hey, Bannon, I know you said we were done you're seriously uh, bringing up Mr. B right now. All right, yeah. Don't get all yelly at me. I just thought that maybe he could help. Not an option. Roger that. All right, we'll just we'll focus uh, on the studio job. Do you have your video feed glasses? Sam, Roger that. All right, work your magic, Bannon. Sorry. Shit. Oh, shit. Hello. What happened to the regular manager? Hi. I uh, seem to have lost my key. Must have left it in my... Jesus, those eyes. <laughs> Let me just verify your info. Okay. Tell her your name is Alan Haskell. Haskell. Alan. 
A-L-L-E-N. Uh, can I get a date? Of birth. <laughs> Keep your pants on, Bannon. It's sure. 422-47. 422-47. You look fantastic for 60, by the way. Unfortunately, we don't have any spare keys. What? No, she's new. She doesn't know what she's talking about. But I do have the master key. No, 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 no. That is not an option. Tell her to look in the drawer. Should I escort you myself? No, thank you, ma'am. But if you'll just check the desk drawer. Tell her that, Bannon. OK. OK? It's not OK. It's not OK at all. You need to focus. Hey, listen to me. Oh, God, Bannon, we have a job to do. You're going to blow this whole job. You will not engage with this girl. OK, all right, now that she's let you in, you will say thank you and good day. But you will not engage. All right, listen to me, Neil Bannon. All right, we have a job to do. Do not, I repeat, do not engage. Quick business to do. Oh God. One second. One second. Dude, get in here. Go, get out. Get out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go to the accounts folder. Right, that's, that's it. That's it right there. Now set up the transfer to the external, and I'll take care of the rest. All right. Looks like there's two more accounts. What? No, there's only one unsecured. All right, we don't have time for other accounts. I don't care. Let's do it. Thanks, bro. Biggest pimp ever. Hey, Neil. Get in. Your uncle wants to talk to you. mob guy probes you for answers, you gotta watch what you say. When he's your uncle, well, same deal, just slightly more uncomfortable. I understand you've gotten yourself in a bit of trouble with Sonny. Uh, nothing I can't handle. Manny, have Veronica join us. <coughs> Drink. <coughs> oh, yeah, that old falling off the wagon thing. <coughs> I've never seen this shot with you and my folks. Happier times. Now, 
You should know this. As a rule, I don't go to anybody. I make them come to me. That was another one of Granddad's principles. So next time I call, answer the goddamn phone. I'm better with texting. <laughs> oh, your charm has really run out, though, with your friend Sonny. If it was up to him, you'd be floating in the river. What do you own? Would $250,000 cover it? About 500. Let's just make it the American dream. One million dollars. Neil Bannon, millionaire. <clears throat> I'm offering you a chance to square your debt. Maybe a little place in the Bahamas, fancy cars, women. Or whatever you want. I don't care. Sounds intriguing. Suffice it to say, that box is a valuable piece of merchandise. Yeah, I think I saw one of these at Ikea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mensch. Though he is heavily guarded, he will not be expecting someone like you. Wait, hold up. You want me to steal the box from the mensch? The mensch was a former rabbi who later found a home in the Jewish mob. Oh, and he also got into sex trade biz. I'm not only the president. And he wasn't much of a match. How you procure the box is entirely up to you. That was your grandfather's. His father gave it to him after the war. My father gave it to me when he realized he was dying. And now. Yeah, I'm not really a gun-toting kind of thief. You will be. You know what I like about you, Neil? Even when you're in a position where you have no choice, you convince yourself that you do. No. No, I'm not giving you the 100000 You're just going to blow it on another card game, OK? Just not until we get the whole amount for Sonny. Now, this job that Mr. B wants us to do looks right up your alley. All right, check it out. The Mensch is having one of his mail order bride galas in a couple of days at one of his storage facilities. Look, even if I'm going to do this job, which I'm not, I need more than you jerking off behind your computer. OK, first of all. And that's when I met Madison. It's going to be a bunch of rich D-bags and hot Russian broads walking around looking to get some action. Fannin, you're just going to stop walking when I'm right in the middle of making an important executive decision? I got to grab something in my car. I'll catch up with you. All right, I'll just go over all of this on my own. I'm sorry. Okay. Summoner, never the summon. Don't do it, Bannon. You're breaking the rule. Excuse me, sir. Ever heard of a crosswalk? Hey. Wouldn't happen to be any 
between uh, those three walls, would it? No, I just, uh... Yeah, okay. Why don't you just step over to this? Oh, my God. Back again. Did you miss us? Tell us what to do here, Neil. Where the fuck is it? So here we are. Third strike, no more odds. Just months after you told me you were going to be a better man. If you're convicted, that's life in prison. No more fancy cars, fancy clothes, women. Just you in an orange jumpsuit pitching nickels against the wall with a bunch of homeboys who are going to take a deep-seated interest in your last name. You two take a walk. I want a private conversation with my son. Yeah, this is my dad's version of quality time. I know about the money you owe son and car. And I know about your dealings with my brother. DA wants you convicted, locked up, key thrown away. She wants to set an example for the precinct. And I'm not totally opposed to that idea. But... I can make her cut you a deal. Total immunity. I perked up your ears, didn't it, huh? Keep your virgin ass out of the state pen. What your granddad would call appealing to a man's self-serving greed. Let me guess. You want me to turn states on Mr. B? It's your last chance, kiddo. Hey, Dad. After posting bail on back to square one, broke and screwed. Third strike, no more. Stan, you got yourself in a bit of trouble with Sonny. Taking no action means 25 years in prison. I'm offering you a chance to square your debt. Your virgin ass out of the state pen. Or I could turn states on Mr. B, which means having to look over my shoulder forever. Make it the American I know about your dealings with my One brother. million dollars. Or I could work for Mr. B, pay off my debts, and run from the police market. Even when you're in a position where you have no choice, you must convince you yourself go. that you do. It was decision time. Kill me if you want. But if you give me a week, I'll get you an extra 100 Gs. Not for Sonny, for you. Just, you know, tell like you couldn't find me. When in need, appeal to greed. Huh. What if we say we want 200 Gs? Well, Finch, I guess I say okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are you gonna find that kind of money? Mr. B hired me to do a job. Retrieve a box that somebody stole from me. Word on the street says there's something pretty special in that box. Tony was telling me about it the other day. It's a mask of some sort. I mean, it's worth a lot of money. All right? So get you guys your money. In good faith, I'll let uh, Cujo back there take a shot. Neil Bannon, you got yourself one week. Old Francis! <laughs> nice. So we're good, right? Uncle B was right. I don't have a choice. You got a choice? Grow up or give up? 
That's your advice? I thought you were supposed to be supportive. Thanks. Next time, I'll just ask God for advice. God's a little busy to worry about you. You gotta believe in yourself. Go with your gut. And don't take all of this too seriously, because it'll bite you in the ass. Thanks, Mom. You always know what to say. Are you aware that breaking and entering is a felony? Mm, the use of a gun can increase the sentence to state prison. Well, I'll be sure to only use it in self-defense then. Based on what I've seen, I think you could use a bodyguard. Unless you're applying for the job, I'll assume you're stalking me, which Gives me quite a case against you. Oh, no, actually, I just dropped by to give this back to you. I was mildly impressed. No one's ever lifted from me before. I kept your Starbucks card for my trouble. Sure. Press charges, break the code of thieves, and, uh, yeah, have my Starbucks card. <laughs> Did you just say code of thieves? highly overestimate your charm and you're definitely underestimating my trigger finger so I feel like I should sneak out now without hearing my business proposition your business proposition see I was thinking maybe we're tracking me because you find me attractive but clearly you're just using me for my more roguish qualities a deft hand can be very attractive I feel like I should tell you things about myself. Like I never commit to anyone or anything ever. I have trust issues. My daddy didn't love me. If you want to offer me a job, you should make it the best damn offer possible because Mr. Bannon, no matter how enchanting you think you are, people get one chance with me. And if you screw up that chance, you may never see me again. Face-to-face, -face anyway. The job is it still something that means a lot to one scumbag and deliver to another scumbag. Mm -hmm. Your salary for this job is a couple hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. And it may or may not include benefits. And it's going to be very dangerous. I'm not going to lie, not to somebody like you. You'd sniff that out a hundred yards away. <laughs> My fee is actually... 500 grand, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna do the job. Spoken like a true pro. That was straight out of the book. Whatever you pledge allegiance to owns you. <laughs> Lesson learned. How's your father doing? He doesn't know I'm working for you again, if that's what you mean. You haven't seen him? No. Why? He's watching me. I hope for his sake he keeps his distance. Not to worry, though. Your allegiance is in the right place. <laughs> even open this friggin' thing. It's supposed to have the Turin Shroud in it. You know that. 
that schmata Jesus was buried with? Can someone please open this fucking box for me? What is that? Wait, wait. What is that? A friggin' power tool? Huh? Have you ever heard of the Sabbath? Have you ever heard of a Jew? Do you know what a Jew is, Mr. Schnook? Huh? Today is Saturday. It's the Sabbath. You can't use electricity on the Sabbath. How was I to know? Power tool. You're a schmuck, Schnook. What? Mr. B sending somebody over for the box. Find him. I want him dead! You have to sleep in my car? So I'm gonna take this job on one condition. I call the shots. No. There's Zeke. He's my right-hand man. Hey, buddy, you ready for prep day? So ready. I just took the biggest deuce you've ever seen. <laughs> I feel like five pounds lighter. I will send you a picture of it. Uh, Zeke. <laughs> You're in the car with Madison. The one I was telling you about, she's kindly going to help us on this job. We'll always have this moment, Zeke. Nice to meet you too, Madison. <laughs> OK. On to more pressing matters. Apparently, the mensch has found out that Mr. B sent you after the box and has hired an assassin trio for protection. These are the hottest assassins I have ever seen. Perfect. The first one I called Jailbait. I believe she's in her 20s, but she says she's 17 because perverts seem to get off on that kind of thing. She seduces her victims. She lets them have their way with her. She waits for the opportune time and then she stabs them with a horse tranquilizer. I'm not even gonna get into what she does after that. Then the next one is former special ops, trained in acrobatic, martial arts, and espionage. And she loves knives. I call her Stiletto. And last, but certainly not least, the one I named Bombshell. Really not much to say about Bombshell. She's hot, she's blonde, she likes to blow shit up. Funny. There's no such thing as a trio of hot assassins. In my wildest fantasies, maybe. See, let me drive once. No. You don't know how to drive your own car. I'm, what, are we, what, what are we doing? We have to go see my uncle before we do the job. I'm sorry. We have to make a quick stop to see your mob, Uncle. There are certain people, Bannon, who I would like to remain anonymous to, like everyone. He's the one paying the bills right now, so wait a second. I just realized after I pay back Sonny and his guys, and Zeke gets his cut, and then you get your cut, I'm left with nothing. Bannon! Always good to see you, bud. I know we told you we were going to give you a little more time, but sorry, man. You were summoned. Who the fuck is this pretty boy? It's Neil Bannon. <laughs> no, it's not. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? This ain't Neil Bannon. All due respect, son, he, we've been trailing that piece of shit for weeks. With all due respect, I'm telling you, this ain't Neil Bannon because Neil Bannon swore he's gonna have my fucking money by now. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
we talk is to Cuddy Max. I could have sworn you owed me 150 G's, huh? But every time my gentlemen catch up with you, you have nothing. Now, I ain't never been no college cat. I mean, my teachers was Max, Hustlers, Pimps. You see, I didn't use a pen or a pad. I used three card Molly, loaded dice. And loaded guns. I think I get where you're going. Shh. Now I want to ask you, do you hold grudges? Because I do. When I hold on to a grudge for too long, man, I start to see red. And then there's only one thing that keeps me out of the red. Box! <laughs> and then I'm nice and smooth again. Then I start to remind myself, isn't Nil Ben retrieving some sort of valuable box for Mr. B? He is. Totally is. And I hear this guy has said that he's thick, flawless diamonds inside. Isn't that right? I heard an antique mask. Right! <laughs> then it's clear. Instead of taking the money, Ooh, I dig. You're playing my favorite song. To know each other. Come on, puppy, let's dance. Normally, I'd kill a man for crossing that line. But we agreed. You're gonna bring me the box, so I can't do that. I see you brought your little lady friend with you. I think I found a way to reciprocate. <laughs> okay. Okay, ya yeah, pues, what are you doing? Sonny, what are you doing? You know, you're right, Sonny, I did sleep with your girl. Before you guys were together, of course. I mean, it's only fair, though, that you have your way with her. What? Okay, you know what, Sonny? Come on, come on, stop! What are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, my boy. I should probably warn you, though, as a cutty, she may not be very clean. I mean, when a girl sleeps as many guys as she does, She's bound to have something. You saying you better hook her up in here? I didn't know she was a prostitute when I first met her. When I picked her up for our little date, first thing she said was, 
Five dollars for a hand job. I mean, I should have known. Look at the way she's dressed. Those fuck me boots. Your mommy, is he telling the truth? I'm not a prostitute. I'm a high class call girl. And I'm $50 for a hand job. $50. for cutting me. Jesus. Thanks, guys. I think I'm falling in love. Don't. I'll only hurt you. Are you two ready for this? We'll have the box by tonight. Very good. So you know, Manny doesn't work for me anymore. From now on, it's Dimitri or me. <clears throat> you trust this girl? Why wouldn't I? No. Nah. Word to the wise from your favorite uncle. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> no turning back now. Hey, B, we just got the invite. You going over the guest list? <laughs> yeah, I think I got my guy. All right, well, you're doing that. We'll finish the replica box. All right, I'll tie up the rest of the loose ends. Replica complete. All right, let's make sure we're on the same page. I'm gonna arrive as JC Trilby. I'll already be there. And I'll mingle for a bit. Before you meet up, you both need to mark each of the guards with transponders so I can track them. There's eight of them. And then I'm gonna mark the match. We meet up and flirt for a while. Yeah. By that time, everyone should be nice and toasty, so you can head to one of the rooms. The match's private room should be guarded. Go to the next room over. I'll hand you the replica. Bannon will make his way through the mensch's secret doorway to get to his private room. The box should be hidden in a hollow box. Switch it out with a replica and you're good. Wait, wait, hey! You never told me how you're gonna pose as J.C. Trilby. Can't reveal all my secrets. Hey, Madison should be on the rooftop. She couldn't wait. She marked all the guards. She only had the mensch left. What's the party? OK, Madison, just get him interested in you, but don't be too aggressive. You don't want to scare him off. Hello. Been eyeing you all night. OK, change of plans. Just go for it. It's so nice to finally meet the manish. I know. Okay, find your opportunity and mark him.
Mm. Oh, that sounded just nasty. We are in. Mm. All right, Madison, make your way over to the bar. Let's get this over with. Bannon, we'll pick you up there. I get my move on Madison. Fuck off, bitch. You will make a fine wife. Why don't we go inside and we make it official? How are you still single? We're gonna make this believable. How do you propose we do that? just to make it believable. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Trilby. Uh, JC Trilby. Trilby. Yes. Trilby. Oh, that's great. You know, I think, uh, Mr. Trilby, you better beat it. This one's mine, OK? Looks like the mensch might be in love. I think she's got him. What's going on? <laughs> About to find out. How could you still be single? Oh, maybe you, you should come to my room. Hmm? I'll suck your fingers, I'll suck your toes, and then you can suck mine. Hey, go with it. You're gonna lead you right to the box. Let's go. You may not be needed, Bannon. Do you say we check out one of those private rooms? Sure. Hey, you want to join us? Mm -hmm. Come on. OK, Madison, the box should be in the corner. Not bad, huh? Under a hollowed bust. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Why is, um, what's he doing here? This is Mr. Schnook. Oh. He's privy to all my business. He's fine. He's good. <laughs> I think we should do it now. Things that I would like to do to you, I don't think you're gonna want Chuck to see. <laughs> Mr. Schnook, please leave the room and lock the door behind you. Beat it! Pervert! <laughs> you guys make yourself comfortable and, you know, entertain each other. What the hell's going on with Madison? Hold on. She's not responding. What do you she mean? Madison. Madison, do you read me? What? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She just disappeared. She's completely off the radar and the mensch isn't moving at all. What the fuck is going on? I'm going in there. I'm gonna just... I'll be right back. You guys just keep doing what you're doing. God, I could marry both of you. This is spooky, B. Be careful, something's not right. Where'd she go? Sock. It's disgusting. Oh. Tell me where she went. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! You're not JC Trilby. You're that prick Bannon! Who's going to feel like? Shit, Bannon, get out! You're after the fucking box, right? You fucker!
Schnuck! Get your fucking ass in here! Schnuck! What happened, Snuck! B? I'm in the dark here, B. Here. What's going on? Snuck! What are you doing, B? You're surrounded. Get out of there! It wasn't until precisely this moment that I believed the Assassin Trio even existed. I hate being wrong. Finally, finally, the Assassin has arrived. You're dead, Bannon. You're dead! I want you to fucking cut him into little pieces. I want you to slice his liver and the... Is this iced tea? Yeah. Long Island. Wait. <laughs> Happy holidays. OK, gentlemen, big round of applause for Cammy, everybody. Cammy. Woo! All right, gentlemen, tonight is Amateur Night. So much you made it in the world, Caddy. You're 500 bucks. Any takers? $500, ladies. $500. Easy money, easy money, easy money. Come on, 500 dollars Come on to the stage. Amateur ladies, report to the stage. Going once, going twice. Whoa, OK. Whoa, who do we have here? Wait a second, hold on, hold on a second. Steve, Steve, you sure this girl's a legal age for this club? Let's not waste any more time then. I raise my feet, I miss the beat from my seat. Don't care, get off my back. I make a sound, I wash it down round, so round. Get off, don't touch my stack. Push it outside, just hit me high. Cause I'm about to crack. One, two, three, turn around. Don't you watch me now, just turn around. Touch your knees, don't look, just turn around. Walk right through that door. Yeah. What the hell? I think this little lady's got quite a future. What do you guys think? I thought this was amateur night. <laughs> Something tells me you're not what you've seen. How old are you, really? Old enough. Are you sure? <laughs> Quick lesson. If you want someone to do what you want, you need to choose the options for them. <laughs> I especially like to use this principle when picking at women. I have an idea. Why don't we go back to your place and you can find out how old I really am? But this time, it was being used on me. Or we can go to a motel and you can do whatever you want to me. And I didn't care. <laughs> Two girls on a bull whip. Oh, Wait. I have no interest. Check this out. Look, look, watch, 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 watch. Don't look at it. Watch. Watch that. Watch. What did you just hit? Oh. <laughs> Here you go again. <laughs> Hey, guys. You guys, come check this out. Okay. 
Beth's jail bait. Uh, yeah, she is. Uh, no, you don't. Oh Bannon? Bannon. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh. No, 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 no. She's gonna kill her. Okay, that's what she does. She's gonna stab him and she's gonna cut off his balls. All right, Bannon, uh, wake up! Uh, uh. Okay, this might. Uh, oh god, please work. Please work. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 Bannon, uh, Jail Bates trying to kill you. Uh, I helped you save him. You tell him that. You tell him what I did here today. Hey, babe, I found Madison. All right, she turned her phone back on. Where is she? I traced her call to a guy named Marcel. Send me her location, I'll get her. Keep your eye out for bombshell. I am so that is sorry. so weird, because I was just looking for you at the party. Right, because uh, I had to slip out. I missed you. Yeah, I was. I wanted to say goodbye, and I said, fuck it, I'm just going to just jump yeah. out the window. I want to say oh, no, that was you. you. I have to go. No, wait, 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 wait. Can't we just have, like, one straightforward conversation? Give me the box. You want the box? Hey, you know what? I have an offer for you. I, I know a guy. He's actually interested in purchasing my box. He's got a new connection in France, so we can split the profits 80-20. Let me guess. You get 80, I get 20. Yes, genius. All right, 70-30. Yeah, I'm not here to make a deal with you, all right? OK, 60-40. That's my last offer. I'm the only one who knows how to get a hold of Marcel. Now think about it, Bannon. I don't need you or your contact, I just need the box, so just hand it over. Okay, you're right, you don't need me. I guess I'm out of options, so. Come get it. Wow. Holy shit. That was nice. That's pretty far. Mm. I really, really wish you wouldn't make me do this. Mm -hmm. I think I like you. <laughs> Let me tell you what's gonna happen. Oh, okay. Right? I'm gonna walk over, and you're gonna hand me the box. I'm gonna walk away. And let me give it to Mr. B. He's gonna pay me my money so I can pay off Sonny. You wanna shoot me sometime in between? So be it. Because I don't have a choice. Oh, 
Okay, 50-50. I wish I could see your face when it happened. <laughs> if I see your blonde fucking bimbo leave again, I will end you. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Return to Mr. B? And then turn states on him? He'd kill me. If I don't, I go to jail. And the fucked up thing is all I can think about is that drink at the strip club. Oh, you made a mistake. At some point, you gotta let it go and move on. Little voices in your head, those instinct voices. What are they telling you? Run. <laughs> Spoken like a true hero. That's how I know I raised you right. The only advice I can give you is... Trust that whatever you decide is the right choice. Whatever I decide is the right choice. <sighs> Uncle B, I got the box. I know I could count on you. We'll meet in the afternoon. I got a warehouse in the fishing district. Come along. Wait, Manny's been a cop the whole fucking time? Yep. What the hell are they gonna do with me if they find out I'm wearing a wire? I'll probably shoot you. <laughs> Kidding. It's gonna be fine. All you gotta do is make sure that you get in there, deliver the box, and get him talking. And if anything goes wrong, and I'm sure it won't, we'll cut the lights and move in. If anything happens, you hit the floor. Let us be your guardian angel. Thought that was mom's role. What would she think of all this? All set. All right, let's rock and roll. This is fucking bullshit, Zeke. I'm doing the biggest drop off of my life. You're not even there to wish me good luck. Whatever, dude. Fuck off. I'll call you later. All right, you're gonna waltz in as your charming self. Everything is normal. Sure, just doing a drop off to my mob uncle, who I'm about to rat out in front of his armed henchmen. You know, typical day for Neil Bannon. Or you can go to jail. Choice is yours. Today, arriving in getting position. Let's move. Are you gonna frisk my own nephew? Oh, bitch, you see the if I know Neil, he didn't bring the gun. Microphone. He's not wearing a wire. Why would he be wearing a wire? <laughs> You're not wearing a wire, are you? All right, boys, grab him. Tie him up, slit his throat. And then we're gonna take his balls and cut him off and throw him to the sharks. Watch out, boys. Here comes the fuzz. <laughs> Unit B, what's your 20? Now, Neil, I'm very excited you found the box. May I see it? Hans, get him his money. Remember, you're not going to just drop off the box and walk out. You have to get him talking. <sighs> You gotta tell me what's in the box before I give it back. Your future. You passed, Neil. I wanted to see if you would follow through with your promise. 
Are you saying this is some sort of test? Come on. The Mensch? His trio of assassins? The Mensch was a test of my patience, that is for sure. The assassins, however, uh, generally, they're freelance. Their services go to the highest bidder. They tried to kill me. They had to appear to be your adversaries. But really, they were meant to be your guides. You've got to get him to talk, get a clean statement now. Wait a second. What about Madison? When she ran off the box, how'd you know I'd find her? <laughs> no way. You trust this girl? I saw her on the street that day. I found her. How silly of me to assume that a man with your sexual appetite would spot a beautiful woman and instinctively follow. Like I said, you passed the test. Deal. Pick the drop out and get out. Well, you've got nothing unless you get a clean statement. Do it now. She said you could have everything. The money, the power, the women. What if I told you everything was yours? Keys to the kingdom, Leo. Everything your grandfather dreamed was possible. And everything your mother threw away. Neil, do not listen to him. Get out. trusted your allegiance was in the right place. You didn't disappoint me. You earned this. Now go pay Sonny and uh, we'll talk further. What are you, make my arm fall off? Come get your money. My allegiance lies. Look, you had a momentary lapse of judgment. But I'm an understanding guy. They got nothing on me. No harm done. I got your money. We can still get out of here. Neil. I'm dying. You're my last chance to make a meaningful contribution to this world. I'm asking for you and me not to be enemies. Zalip itself! The glass! To fucking move. Stay right fucking there. Ah, yeah. Only one missing from this little reunion. Son. Get out of here. Your mother, Neil. Come with me. You'll know everything. That is not a suggestion. It's an order. Hey, Go ahead. We'll meet next week for coffee. Скажите, <laughs> как Looks like I win, Nick. A little reign of terror is over. What could you possibly find so amusing? This reminds me of when we were kids. I used to shoot pigeons out back. Pigeons? Rats from the sky. I'm around back. I'll hold until you get here. They shit everywhere. They terrorized the cat. They stole bird seed from the cardinals and the goldfinches, the noble birds. 
You came out back one day and objected to my action. Yeah, I broke your fucking nose. I'm behind the warehouse, David standing by. Dad came out. He saw my nose bloody, shattered. But he warned you, one of these days I'd grow up and you wouldn't be able to pick on me anymore. And you said... You'll never be as big as me. Right. Yeah. Stop fucking around. Don't do this. Качать нужно! Come on, see. Back up. Back up. For some reason, you've always been known as the guy who did what he thought was right. I guess that's how you got to be where you are. I'm para. And I will always be known as the guy who was willing to do what the other guy wasn't. God damn it. I'll get him back somehow. Can we help, Bannon? Mr. Bannon? I am good with guns. I got like a 98% headshot kill ratio. Hello? Thank you. Sorry. I wasn't gonna say I'm sorry. A of thieves, huh? You know, you should actually appreciate the fact that I took a job and followed through with it. You, on the other hand, you just had to screw up my deal with Mr. B, didn't you? You know what my favorite thing was? This was my favorite. Unbutton, unbutton, unbutton. You're so dramatic. You owe me money, Bannon. I owe you money? Yes, 500 grand. <laughs> That's up from the five dollars for a hand job. You think that's funny? Yeah. That's a freebie. <laughs> oh, you're gonna slap me. You're gonna have to let go of one of them if you want another hand job. Yeah. <clears throat> you know how fucked I am right now? Zeke's been kidnapped. My dad's been shot by my uncle. And it's probably my fault. <laughs> So today's arguably the worst day of my life. And for some reason, all I can think about. Yeah, well, don't be fooled, Neil. Because all I want is my money. Yeah? Prove it. Sonny's guys. But Mr. B's calling me. Sonny's got Zeke. He's threatening to kill him unless we bring him the box. Mr. B knows we're together. He said we can keep the box. He just wants you to meet him at Inspiration Point. I'm not meeting him at Inspiration Point. I'm doing this alone. I don't want you getting hurt. Bannon, I'm going with you.
Look, Sonny. The box. No games. Just want the kid. I don't want any trouble. I don't want to be done with all this. Francis, untie the kid. What, that's it? Hold on. How do I open it? Nobody knows how to open the box. You like to fuck with me, don't you? You're always finding new ways to fuck with me. Did you enjoy fucking my girl, Catalina? You're like a connoisseur of fucking with my life. <laughs> and for some reason, you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How the fuck does he get away with that? I'm fucked. You shoot pool? Shoot the motherfucking pool. Psycho. And I want to watch you take a bullet in your gut. See how charming you are then when a bullet enters your body, but it doesn't blow out your back. See you fight the urge to squirm. I wanna work that pretty charming boy small off your dying motherfucking face! Puppy's gone. Shoot him, mommy. Go ahead, mama. No. Shoot him, mama. Give me. Give puppy the gun, mama. Look, I'll make it up to you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Mama, slowly, give me the gun. Mama will make love. Sweet love. <laughs> Give me the gun. 
Tell me, Mama. Francis! Francis! You all right? Stupid bitch. Fucking waste. Who's the fucking man now, Sonny, huh? Who's in charge now, huh? <laughs> Who's in charge now, right? <laughs> Out of bullets. Guess today's your lucky day. Thanks. You good? Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about starting my own business anyway. I can still use that 200 G's. Little Tommy needs some uh, braces. Right. Go on, get out of here. I'm sure I'll catch up with you sooner or later. Bannon. Let's just say you owe me one. bringing up mom. I mean, what did he mean at the warehouse? And he said, everything your mother threw away. It's time you heard this from me. I haven't told you the truth because I tried to protect you. It's not going to change what happened. It's not going to change what he did. What did he do? I was afraid of what you would do. I was afraid of what he might do to you. I loved her so much. I swear, there was nothing I could do. Sir? She loved you from the bottom of her heart. So I'm gonna need you to leave. She, she never do anything to hurt you. Sir, please, uh, please. I swear to God, she loved you. Okay. Yep. Okay, thanks. Hey. All right, so I just spoke to Marcel. He's in France. He still wants the box. We need to hop on an airplane. I'm going to Inspiration Point. Damn it. We'll sell the box. You're finally going to start over. I don't care about the box anymore. be here when you get back.
tell me about my mother. Neil Bannon Jr. Pointing a gun. Did you ever think you'd see the day? Tell me what you did to her. That gun you're holding, that was your grandfather's. You know that. Cut the shit. I'm clean. It's just you and me here. I want the truth. What happened to her? When two men, brothers, love a woman the way we loved her, what happened to her was an accident. Facts. Go. You were a kid. Yes. She had a car accident. Yes. I was driving that car. I was having an affair with your mother, Neil. On and off. Since before you were born. What are you telling me? He was drinking. He was in a blind rage. Trying to tell me that, that you're my dad? He kept up the facade as long as possible, your mother's choice. He was suspicious. He followed us one day in his car. He tried to run us off the road. It worked. The car flipped. Me and him, we blamed each other, but uh, for the first time in years, we agreed cover it up for your sake. I'm going to tell you something here in a minute that's going to upset you. Very much so. And then I'm going to sit right there and you're going to execute me for what I did. When you do, everything I own will be yours. It may take you a while to realize, but this is what you were meant to do, Neil. I don't want it. That's why I put you through this. But I don't care. I don't want it. I'm not going to let you piss away this opportunity. But I don't want it. You apparently missed the memo that said I'm trying to get out of this lifestyle. This whole wild goose chase that you put me on, to find the stupid box? Well, I have a theory. I think you created the box so you could draw out your enemies. You knew if you created enough lore surrounding it that nobody could resist, and eventually they'd all get killed. The Mensch, Sonny. So what's really in the box? I mean, everybody's got their theories. Ancient masks, diamonds, or whatever. You and I know, it doesn't matter. And then it hit me. Nothing. Nothing in the box. How poetic to think that, that everything that everybody wants, whatever their little greedy minds come up with, that's what's in the box. <laughs> Brilliant. You wonder why I want you to be my successor? <laughs> God, I wish I'd thought of that. But, no. Unfortunately, I did put a little something in that box. And your girlfriend's gonna be the first one to find out. God, I see so much of your mother in her. Tell right away you'd met your match with her. She was uh, a big asset to me when I needed her, but now she's she's getting in the way. Neil Bannon's answering service. Now you may hate me at first, but you're gonna have to trust me when I tell you that she'd only be a distraction to you. Hello. 
She'll appear to be loyal. Did you really think I'd leave without you? Is this Madison? I promise you, she won't be there when you get back. I'm sorry. This is too perfect. We made a replica box for the mensch job. It's because I was so tired of the real box that I had to get rid of it. So on my way to visit my father at the hospital, I dropped the real box off at your office. You just blew up your own building. Well done. But you're gonna come around, Neil. My blood courses through your veins. You're capable of so much more. You proved it tonight by coming here to kill me. Let's do it. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not really a gun-toting kind of thief. They got nothing on me. Just you and me, right? They got nothing on me. You're probably right. See, please tell me you got that. Every word. Gotcha. Sometimes a man has to make up his own set of rules. So I added a new one to the bandit list. Live by your own principles. Don't let other people determine what you should and should not do. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Just test driving. <laughs> <laughs>